In an unprecedented display of nature's force, thousands of individuals in Russia have been left with no choice but to abandon their homes as rapid snowmelt led to the most severe flooding ever recorded in the Ural Mountains. The issue escalated sharply on Friday when the Ural River, a significant waterway in Europe, rapidly rose by several meters, spurring the breach of a dam in the city of Orsk. The Russian government has reacted by declaring an emergency within the Orenburg region, located adjacent to Kazakhstan. This urgent action followed as the Ural River, which springs from the Ural Mountains and ends its journey in the Caspian Sea, threatened to inundate areas downriver. The burgeoning crisis led to the immediate initiation of a criminal investigation, probing possible construction code breaches that might have contributed to the catastrophic dam failure. The repercussions of the flooding have been far-reaching, displacing over 4,000 people, including scores of children, and the ripple effects of the disaster are felt beyond Orsk. Orenburg, a city of approximately half a million residents situated downstream from Orsk, is bracing for the river's pinnacle flood levels expected to peak by Wednesday. Already, unprecedented water heights of 9.7 meters have been reported in Orsk, toppling the prior historic marker of 9.46 meters. Visuals from the crisis-struck region reveal the dire state of affairs, with one particularly poignant image showing a resident wading through neck-high waters, safeguarding his belongings, and a black cat from the deluge. Boats have become an essential mode of transportation through the inundated streets, rather than a means of leisure. Authorities, including Orenburg's mayor Sergei Salmin, have issued urgent evacuation orders, emphasizing the critical nature of the situation and warning that conditions are expected to deteriorate further within the following days. In response to the emergency, Russian President Vladimir Putin has directed the formation of a special commission to address the calamity. The commission's focus will be on the flooding not only in Orenburg, but also in the Kurgan and Tumen regions, ensuring a coordinated reaction to the unfolding events. The president is receiving continuous updates from the Kremlin as the situation develops. Catastrophic flood events such as this highlight the profound impacts of extreme weather and climate phenomena on our societies, reminding us of the urgency with which we must prepare for and adapt to a changing environment. The flooding in Russia's Ural Mountains is a stark emblem of this reality, affecting thousands and challenging emergency response capabilities in the region. 